Hey everyone, you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77. When we return, we got the rock climber. This is the XLF 03B, right after this. Hey guys, Donnie here and you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77RC. Hey, today I have the uh, XLF. This is the 03B. This is actually a Feiyu. Um, this is just a quick unboxing. It's getting pretty windy, so I apologize about the wind noise. Uh, you can tell it's a Feiyu. It says Feiyu on the instruction manual. This is a rock climber. Uh, it comes with a uh, little uh, balance uh, port charger here for 2S. A screwdriver and a tire removal tool uh, a couple little screws in there then you got your owner's manual which is uh, basically a parts list so which makes it nice so you can figure out what parts you need if you ever need to replace anything it gives you all the diagrams guys so uh, which is really cool um, that's not the battery because with the 2s it's showing the brush version there this one is brushless so we're going to take a look at it and uh, I went ahead and took the clips off. Really neat body style. I like how low this sits to the ground and how wide the wheel base is. It only has friction shocks on this one, you guys. So uh, nothing too fancy there. So friction shocks, which are okay. I'm going to replace those later since I like this truck a lot. Um, a lot of plastic parts. Uh, but the dog bones are at least metal. So is the housings. And uh, except for... Um, Except for right here, the the outboard uh, uh, from the differential, that is plastic. So that's something you can replace later and upgrade. Uh, one thing I want to show you before I get into too much detail, uh, I might have a little video clip I might throw in here, uh, but I went around to go tighten all these. I like to tighten all the screws up uh, just because a lot of stuff's loose when you get it from factory on anything you buy. Sometimes I just go around and snug stuff up, but. Uh, you do want to be careful snugging uh, this guy up because I tightened these A-arms down a little too far and there's a little set screw in here. Well, what it did is it, it, came, down, it came down on this hub inside and there's a little ring that clips in there and holds the pin for the dog bone so it don't, the pin don't fall out. I had it too tight and it caught that ring and then it locked up the wheel. So... Uh, I just went around, popped that back in, loosened these back up, and it's it's fine. It's good to go again. Uh, I had this thing for about four months and just haven't got around to reviewing this one yet. Um, but it is a good little truck. Uh, it's got a small brushless motor. I'll leave all those details in the description down below. Uh, it does have the two-in-one receiver ESC combo. So, um, you know... That's okay. It, it, it does the job for, for now. You can always switch all that stuff out later, you guys. It's got full proportional steering. It's got a good little bumper here. Uh, but uh, that's basically it. Um, the gears are metal inside. I opened up the differential and put a little grease in there. I like to add a little grease in those because sometimes you get stuff and they, you know, they're just not greased very well. But I just went ahead and kind of touched it up and I wanted to see if the gears were metal or not. So. They are metal inside, so it's got a pretty cool little clip for the battery. Just push down and slides out. It's got a 2S battery, 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamps. So it would definitely, uh, definitely do the job. I uh, got the Dean's connector. I'm going to run a 3S speed run, but I am still waiting for my ESC fan to come from China. So uh, it's, yeah, it's been over a month now with the epidemic going on. Um, and don't worry guys, it's safe to order stuff from China. Everything's disinfected really well and I haven't had any problems at all. 
Uh, it's just right now they're short staffed, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer, but you will get your products. Uh, some of my products I got within two weeks, so it just depends uh, if they're in stock and things like that. So you shouldn't have a problem ordering at all. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna do a 3S run in a later video, but I am gonna do a speed run on this to see how well this runs. Um, I was gonna do an unboxing, but I'm gonna throw a little clip in there if I got it. So I'll probably do a little free shot here, run the clip, but the box that came in is definitely different. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it surrounds the whole uh, car and you actually have to take the wheels off to be able to pull the chassis and everything out. So uh, unless you wanna just rip the styrofoam up and, and throw it away, but I like keeping my boxes, so. But uh, yeah, it's, it's got a list of all kinds of Feiyu trucks and uh, you know, so it's definitely a Feiyu. So, uh, but this one they call the, the rock uh, climber, but we're gonna go ahead and get it all plugged in and take it for a run. I'm gonna put the speedometer on there and it's for, uh, it is actually kilometers per hour. So I'll convert it to miles per hour for those in the US so you can see how fast this thing goes stock all right guys let's go ahead and fire this thing up controller's pretty basic and you just got a steering trim on and off button so foam steering you know and there you go takes uh this one i think takes three yeah three double a's so and that's all you need all right let's go ahead and take this thing for a run guys stay tuned for that all right, you guys have got the meter all zeroed out right now. Like I said, it's uh, kilometers per hour this is gonna read and I'll convert it over to miles per hour. Um, I always forget to mention that in my other videos of uh, RC trucks, but here's the on and off switch down here. Uh, just be aware, sometimes going in mud and dirt, that will clog up that switch. You may have to kind of blow it out with some of that can condensed air that you use for like computers. That's, a, that's always works really well. So that's on, controller's on. Make sure we're all lined up. Yep, okay, we're good to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take her for a run. Woo, fast, squirrely little guy. Dang. Wow. It's four-wheel drive, you guys, and it still gets squirrely. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Let me go ahead and start the speed run here. All right, it's gonna record now. I just want to take a quick spin. Dang, that thing is squirrely. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> I don't like that concrete. It just sits there and spins. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Wow, 31.6 kilometers per hour. That's pretty good. All right, that's not bad. Right off stock, it's pretty fast. Oh. Something got in the back wheel here. I wonder if that, oh, see that pin popped out there. Uh, this is one I forgot to go and uh, do. I'll be right back, guys. Let me pop that pin back in there and loosen these up. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, don't over tighten these A arms or it'll pop that, uh, that little clip out and then it'll hang up here, guys. So I'll be right back. All right, round two, you guys. Should be ready to go. Should be ready to go. I was gonna also say this ESC, um, sometimes that glue gets hot and comes undone. I went ahead and put some Velcro and Velcroed the ESC and receiver on onto the, the holding plate inside there too. So, all right, let's give it a shot. We're zeroed out for the kilometer uh, meter here. Let's, let's go for it again. We get in the shade so the camera's out of the sun. There we go, that's a lot better. Yeah, that thing's just squirrely because it's got so much power. Power for such a little truck, 30. We're at 30 kilometers per hour. And they're now fully punched. <laughs> so far, 30.9 kilometers per hour. Let me fix this steering a little bit here. Real sensitive steering too. See, I barely turn in it. I'm gonna go over here, get past this speed bump here. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if we beat it. 31.4, there we go, guys. 
31.4 that's not bad at all for stock uh, brushless motor this is such an awesome little truck yeah, it's definitely definitely fun they got an orange one as well one of my buddies Dave has the orange one and it's it's pretty awesome he ran a 3s on it and it just that thing just smoked it it just ran so good that's what I mean didn't burn anything up it just ran good he's got a cooling fan on it and everything so that's why I'm waiting for my fan because I believe this one's only got a 35 uh, 35 amp I believe ESC so you definitely want a cooling fan yeah 31.4 that's about all we're gonna get out of it so uh, it's topped out right there even if I had even more room might get 32 but I doubt it it's fast enough I just love the wheelbase on it look how low it sits to the ground that's so awesome it just runs so good handles really good the braking's good the only thing I'm probably gonna do is, is uh, I'm probably gonna swap out the tires get some different tires and then uh, put the cooling fan on there and then maybe later on I might I might switch out the I might re I don't know this this thing's getting pretty good range let me look I probably don't even need to there's a car coming I don't think I even need to change the receiver because it's actually running pretty good these gears sound a little loud could be I could have put a little too much grease you can see look I'm I'm least 30 to now that's at least 40 meters or more right there and that's all you need you don't need to go any further than that unless you're running fpb let's see yeah 30 31.4 that's it we're topped out all right guys not bad 31.4 that's not bad at all so anyways uh this was sent to me by uh bang good like i said it, i got this probably about four months ago and I feel bad because I haven't got around to it. I got a lot of products to review, you guys. Uh, and I, those who follow my channel know I've been uh, out with the back injury. So I'm trying to catch up on all these products right now. And this one's definitely a keeper, guys. It's definitely uh, made by Feiyu, so it's a good brand. It's got a nice, it's got a nice hard plastic uh, chassis. So, and I like that hard plastic. I always mention in my videos because. I've had an RC car before. Let me shut off the ESC. Um, I've had the metal aluminum chassis before, and then I've jumped it and buckled that. And it's really hard to straighten those back out. You usually have to replace them. And with this plastic, it's pretty durable. You know, it'll take a good hit and it flexes right back. So that's what I like about plastic chassis. So, um, you know don't think you always have to have aluminum because uh, the plastic flex is really good it definitely does a, a great job so all right guys hey thanks for watching i sure appreciate it being good thank you for sending this out I apologize it taking me so long to get the review in but it's here guys i'll leave a link down in this uh descriptions uh don't forget to hit that uh subscribe and hit that notification so th that way you can see what's coming up new on the channel there's going to be a lot more stuff coming up i got a lot of items to review and get caught up on you guys so anyways like always god bless cheers and happy driving